Welcome back to you, cutie pies and raspberry ice creams. Today, we're going to go through another special episode. We're going to be speaking about the dark, dark prophecy. I am wearing my state-of-the-art disguise, panda hat, because to think like a bear, we must be a bear. Now, friends, I want to tell you something. Before you hear any of these wild theories, I want you to know something. You got to back yourself. But unfortunately, most people suck, especially when it comes to markets. Why do I back myself? It's because I know I am a permable. So if me as a permable, I finally get convinced that something ain't right, I know something ain't right. I always knew this. If you are a perma bear, friends, I started off in markets being a perma bear because I was born in the GFC, basically. When I came to trading, I started 2011. So all I knew was basically just markets tumbling. You just keep getting short. And then basically got to see the up early run. So it depends on how you learn in the markets you're coming. Now, what did I see? Well, when I come in and I start to get skeptical, I want to think about the greatest traders out there. Paul Tudor Jones, Jesse Livermore. There are some other great ones out there. They were able to dodge some big, big crashes out in stock market. And trust me, friends, all you need is one. You don't need to keep doing this, okay? Because it's very hard to do this more than once. But with enough effort, you'll be able to get it once. So we're going to be speaking about the dark prophecy today. And I want you to know something. If you've been watching my channel, welcome, welcome. Take a seat over there again, friends. Keep your back straight. I want you to know something. Over one year ago, I would be making so many videos, okay? I remember, I can show it to you right now, when I was talking about Bitcoin, I would draw the scenario for Bitcoin in the bear market. I actually said it here, friends. I remember saying it here. I said, hey, they are holding rates. We probably just go up only. And then when they finally cut rates, bang, we come down. All right. Now, this is not any cause for concern. Why? Because at the end of the day, we know Bitcoin can move, but a lot of altcoins are still way undervalued, okay, from what we can tell. So we don't see a market-wide problem. But there's a problem in the stock market. You see, the stock market, friends, there's this famous saying, right, where they go 10 bad years and then 10 good years, right? So it's almost like if you have 10 good years, right, you're going to be followed by some poopy times. We have had one of the longest stock market bull runs of all time, 13 years, all right? And these things, they don't turn straight away. They're not like crypto where you go, oh, I'm just going to get out for one month and they're going to turn. It's like a long time. You're dealing with the economy, right? Trillions of dollars slosh sloshing around. So what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to show you one possible scenario, how it all plays out. Now, why is it a dark prophecy? It's a dark prophecy because you've got crypto's fourth cycle, Bitcoin fourth cycle. You know, they diminish each time. You know, everybody's talking about 100K. You know, we have the Bitcoin spot ETF, which is a sell signal, Okay. You have everybody coming in. Crypto's tech, we know it's still innovating, but most people aren't here for the tech anymore at all. They're just here for gains. We know there's straight meme coinery. Every time a coin goes up, that's it. They make meme coins. There's a dog. Oh, there's a dog with a hat. Let's make a cat with a hat. All these other stuff keeps coming over and over and over again. What that means is people are constantly trading attention. They're not trading anything based off fundamentals, but this is the new crypto asset, right? So these things take some time to sort out. But eventually, we hit a point where we're just running too hot. You never know what that point is, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one possible scenario of something that's going on, friends. So you pray for the best, okay, but you plan for the worst. So I've made this picture here for you. I've taken from Blockchain Backer when it comes to the fractal. So what we're, what we're looking at, we're looking at structures of how markets form. Now, markets, different asset classes, different people, different time periods. But guess what? The rhythm of how people shift between optimism and pessimism, they form these patterns and all you need to do is find one that seems to be working and you can crush it. Now, I want you to sh share, like, share this with me, friends. Have a look in here, okay? Up the top, we have Bitcoin's double bubble cycle, okay? Now, this is an actual common pattern in markets from the stock market, okay? It's basically a fake out, this Elliott Wave fake out where it comes back down. Now, the Dow Jones has also been doing that again. So if we zoom in, I've actually got a scenario for next year. See this red box? This is where we are now. See this green line too? This is where the, this is where the Dow Jones is right now, okay? 
So what I have here is a potential scenario because we just we want to be on t- ahead of the game, friends, ahead of the game. Okay, because you got to get this, you got to get this right. You don't get this right, it's over. All right, you're gonna be crushed with everybody else. Okay, now the U.S. Fed's gonna cut rates. We already know right here. We already know that's super bearish, but people don't get it. They think, okay, why aren't we going down yet? Well, you got to wait for them to cut rates. The smart money is buying it now, and then when the rep, the, when the Fed starts to cut rates, there's an average drawdown of 27% in the stock market. Okay, now continuing. Right, I'm also looking for things, this is next year, 2024. Jim Cramer says there's no recession. Everyone thinks there's a soft landing. The US Fed congratulates themselves. They'll say, yes, yes, we finally stopped inflation. We're looking for all of these signals, right? When they come, watch out. Now, here's the thing. You think markets going down by stocks might send crypto down to zero. Now, this is where it gets re- gets complicated because I think I'm bearish on stocks. Stock market's overvalued. Warren Buffett, everyone thinks, well, we know eventually this thing's going to stop somewhere, okay? But you don't know how far crypto is going to go, all right? Now, it would be healthy if when stocks go down next year, so stocks right here, if stocks go down, okay, if crypto, and I'm going to show you the Bitcoin chart here, if Bitcoin has a red year next year, which would look like this, we probably are very healthy. Not guaranteed, probably. Why? I think that would rinse a lot of weak hands. Enough weak hands, okay? There's still no guarantees, but I think enough enough people would say four-year cycle doesn't work. I bought crypto in a Bitcoin halvening year and Bitcoin is down. Something's broken, okay? But what if we finish up next year, okay? Because friends, this is, you never know what's gonna happen, right? You always gotta think of these probability scenarios, right? If something happens, I'm gonna do this. If it does that, I'll do that. Okay, so if it's red next year, it's gonna suck, but we'll be turbo bullish, okay? Turbo bullish. But if can if next year just continues the four-year cycle, there's gonna be a bit of an issue here. So let's continue, right? Now, what's gonna be the issue? So if we, if Bitcoin is actually going up, okay? And we, and the stock market, see this line here? The stock market's going down. What is the actual issue? Well, the issue is that in the past three crypto cycles, 2012, 2016, 2020, Bitcoin, 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 in every single cycle, when Bitcoin is screaming at all-time highs, the stock market is breaking all-time highs within a 30-day window. Very important. We know this from the data. We can see it from the data, but no one believes it. Because we are here for the four-year Bitcoin halvening. We are here for Bitcoin's inflation cut. It is programmed in everybody's mind that Bitcoin is four years up only. Now, last cycle was a warning sign. Bitcoin went below its previous all-time high. So that was like a market sending you and me a signal saying, hey, we can go below the previous all-time high. Okay, We can break every rule. We don't have to go on site every four years. It sent us a signal. If my prophecy fulfills itself, the dark prophecy, which is just, it's not 100% chance, friends, it's 70% chance, okay? If it fulfills itself, you know, even if everybody gets their 120K Bitcoin, if you drop 70% from that, right, you get a $36,000 Bitcoin. You know how devastating that is? Because that's five and a half years of Bitcoin going nowhere. Now, think about that for up only, right? Then you realize Bitcoin is just a greater full Ponzi grift, just like everything else. It just went really, really, really far, okay? So very important. I know you, you, you might be shocked. You're like, wait a minute. I'm a bull. I have a buy Bitcoin sign. Go, yeah, it's great, but there are cycles, friends. There are cycles. There's too many people in, all right? There's too many people in. Bitcoin has 219 million people in. We're at the end, towards the tail end of the adoption curve. Trust me. Yeah, there are going to be bull markets. That's going to require harder and harder effort, okay? We'll speak more about how the game's going to change later on, but we've got a bull market ahead of us, so don't worry about all that other game, okay? So this stock market scenario, if it happens, it goes up, fakes out, comes back here. Here's the thing. If you see you see this line, this is 2025, okay? So if it plays out like this, I have an X factor type of warning here as well, which is the US Congress will ban themselves from owning stocks. Now, interesting, right? When did US Congress own them, US Fed ban themselves from owning stocks? The US Fed banned themselves there at the very, very top. Okay, so that's 
That's super important to know as well. Now, what I'm gonna show you is just how overpriced the stock market is, right? I've gone back to literally 1920, friends. Look at this. If you draw a Fib extension, by the way, you know these charts, friends? Each candle is three months. Three months each candle. That's how long it is, okay? If you draw a Fib from here to here, the run up goes to the very, 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 very top. This is actually the roaring 20s. And then Great Depression, okay? But remember, we were on a uh, gold money standard, so we couldn't print money as aggressively, but this is still like, it, it doesn't really matter. I wanna tell you something. The magnitude of the move, it doesn't really matter. All you gotta think about is there will be a crash. You know, it's gonna be 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. You, you don't know that. You never know that because you never measure the true fear. It's just that, you know, uh-oh, things getting a bit heated. That's all you gotta think about. You just gotta, you gotta be open to this possibility, okay? Now, here's another fib from 1975 okay if you draw a fib from from the high to the bottom friends do you want to know what happened here i'm going to show you this you see this big cra crash you can't see this this was the very famous stock market 1987 crash this was where poor tudor jones basically binked it he basically called the very very top he went basically nearly all in on his shorts with his fund and he, he crushed it okay this, I think it was like everything dropped like 30% in, in a day or a month. It was ridiculous, okay? You can see this. This is huge, 40%. Everybody thought we'll start in the Great Depression, but we won't. But it's still, you can see how stocks ran up to this extension, 4.236, and then snapped, okay? That went back in history. So where are we today? Well, if you draw a fib from the top of the GFC to the bottom, okay, this was our bull market, friends. This is literally crypto has been the whole way up. Look where we are right now. You see that? I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna extend it out so you can see, okay? Literally extend it out. We are like right here, man. We are right here. This is the Dow Jones, okay? So, you know, the S&P 500, Dow Jones, they're all extended, okay? Now, interesting part. Sure, they're extended. What can you do with that? Well. I can't guarantee that you're gonna be able to bink a short and make a lot of money, can't guarantee it. But what I can tell you is whenever there have been quick, sharp, aggressive, turmoil, depression, fee, red candles, and economic downturns, they come at extensions, okay? They come off the back of the extension. So you never really know the magnitude, I'm not pretending to know the magnitude, all right? And I could just tell you that, and that's something we can we can sniff, friends. Remember, bears are really smelly, okay? Bears are really smelly, and they poop in the woods. So if you take a long and hard sniff, right, you'll be able to suss them out. Now, what I've done is actually on this chart, right, on, on, let's, let's read the right-hand side, okay? I'm going to read it here for you, okay? So do you remember I told you in this scenario what happens if stocks are making this lower high? Well, here is the Dow Jones, for example, just its weekly chart, okay? So this is just something I'm looking at. Remember, 2025 is here, okay? So you never know, maybe something like this happens, okay? And now we're in 2025 and we are like here. You see that? Why is this important? It's because this is very unordinary for crypto to exist. Why? It's because in every single bull market cycle, all three, the Dow Jones was breaking all-time highs like that, okay? If this pattern happens next year and stocks show that the rate cuts of the US Fed are like forecasting doom, because remember, they're gonna cut rates up here, friends. Everyone's gonna think no recession. And then we come back down and then we start to recover. Because remember, friends, that's, that's how it always tricks you, right? It's never so easy. It's never doom, 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 forever in a straight line. No, 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 it's doom and then it stops. And then there's a retracement. Okay, always, always, always. And not a huge one, but it, 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 there is a, re, a retracement, okay? So at this point though, we're going up here. I'm trying to imagine what does the market look like? Well, I'm guessing Bitcoin is like $80,000 here, okay? Remember, friends, I also said, when do you sell your altcoins? It's one year after the Bitcoin halvening. That's actually right here. Wouldn't it be funny if that happens? Okay, that's literally April, 2025. Now, if this scenario happens, it it is it is um occurring when the Dow Jones is below its all-time high. So if the Dow Jones is below its all-time high, I can see in my mind, friends, I can actually see this. I can see everybody in crypto saying 100K, 100K, 100K. The best is yet to come, four-year cycle. We're going to run all throughout 2025. 
The bull market, the bull market, the bull market. The four-year halvening, everything's working. Okay, I can see that. You never know, friends. We might even have Donald Trump as president again. And everybody's doing the fractal of Donald Trump, going like, wow, last time Trump got president, he's going to pump everything to the moon, okay? So if this happens... I'm going to be very skeptical because I'm going to be like, hang on. Um, crypto can't sustain itself with stocks doing this because what would I be doing? I'll be, I'll be drawing this scenario, friends. I'll say, hey, what if 2025 ends with, the, with stocks going down, right? You see that part, the dotted part? That's Bitcoin failing off 80K if that happens, okay? And that is Bitcoin going down and... People like having cope and hope at the end. So I even dictated it here, right? So I said, in this scenario, so that's actually this black line here. That's what I've drawn. You see this? It's a lower high and it comes down to Doomtown. So I've said, well, crypto would have its final bull run. All right. Bitcoin rushes to $80,000. Altcoins go up. Okay. Everybody believes in a four-year cycle here, but they will ignore the stock market at their own peril. So I just wanted you to know, friends, it's still a possibility where we all win. Why? It's because it's possible, since this might be the final big one, it's possible that we get a double bubble of altcoins, where altcoins run next year, 2024, and then into 2025, instead of people buying 100k Bitcoin, because it's 80k now, they just buy altcoins, because they expect the whole year to be smack up. That's where we hope we get that final gasp of euphoria. But we got to be ready, because everyone's going to expect that the more the best is yet to come, more is coming. We just got to be ready. Doesn't matter what month it is, what period it is, for this burst up. If it happens, friends, if okay, none of these are guarantees. Let me continue. Look at this little blue part. People will ignore the fact that stocks are not in a new all-time high mode condition, which was required for a true crypto bull run in the past three cycles. And then I'll say, then our bull run ends early with a swoop down lower as stocks send crypto down with some event narrative to explain it away. What events are going to be? No one knows. Don't bother guessing, okay? Could be, you know, recession. China invades Taiwan. Russia does something. Someone eats jelly beans the wrong way. You know, maybe Putin gets muggers, has some diarrhea, and he just nukes something. I don't know, okay? Something happens pre-programmed. It's just weird that it's in the charts. It, it's spooky. It's really spooky that it, that it was like, hey, the charts kind of said this, friends. Now, I want to remind you again, if that X factor indicator combination of things like, you never know, friends, Ty Lopez might come back, Jim Cramer calling for no recession and $200,000 Bitcoin or even $100,000, okay? You might have those. We might have literally US Congress, and I have actual a piece of info here. Look at this, friends. I have a dark prophecy here. It's actually confirmed. I mean, get ready for the goosebumps here. US Congressman Ro Khanna officially introduces a bill to ban Congress and their spouses from trading stonks. Okay, I said I'll be making a video. This is actually it right now. You see this dark peppy right now. So, when, like I'm just telling you right now, look, friends, not making this up. This is crazy, right? After this whole run of, look at this, since the, look at this, you had, since the GFC, you go up for 13 years, this whole time. When did... U.S. Fed banned themselves from owning stocks right here, right here. After this whole run, you guys finally said to everybody, you know what? We don't actually want to own stocks, friends. So these are like big macro cycles. So I just want to open your mind up as well. It's possible that there'll be a shift. And this happens over long periods of time, friends. It happens in long periods of time where it's possible the stocks, they go down relative to commodities, right? And the US dollar's sanctity has to be restored. So what we might find is politicians, now that they've banned themselves from stocks, their policy focus is not to pump stocks for the next three, four, five, six years. Their focus is to keep the sanctity of the US dollar, to keep its dominance up, to keep US dollar volume high around the world, to, you know, maybe they've got to invade some countries. They've got to, like, you know, do some uh, stomping grounds, um, something of their feet in places. You get the point, right? So you can imagine this. And it would just be such a strange coincidence where everything's meant to be random and chaotic in the world. But the chance was saying that at this exhaustion point, 
stocks would be exhausted. And somehow these Fed people who are not doing FIB levels or anything, they all decide, you know what, we should ban stocks. And the US Congress people also say, yeah, yeah, we should ban ourselves from burning stocks, right? They'll find another way to make money, okay? But it's just out of the stock market. So they don't have to pump stocks or they don't have to have like a super low interest rate regime, okay? So I'm just opening your minds to these things about, about this possibility of playing out. So when you see this picture, okay, there will be cause for concern by some people. They go, well, you know, what if everything just plays out the exact same? Yeah, could happen, all right? But I wanna tell you something, okay? What if Bitcoin is $80,000 or 90 or 95, doesn't really matter, friends. The number doesn't matter. What if it's there and that Dow Jones has done that move, okay? Like, that's what you gotta be worried about, okay? That's what you gotta be thinking about, okay? What is gonna be your reaction if, okay, next year, let's zoom it in. What's gonna be your reaction if stocks actually like do this, you know what I mean? And then, like I'll show you right now, okay, what's gonna be your reaction, all right, if stocks next year are doing, you know, like this, right? And then we're here, see that? We are actually here, friends. We are in this period, okay? Because then you know something, right? You know stocks can either do this, okay, bull market, or, Doomtown, all right? Now, you know from all my teachings, when Bitcoin cuts itself at the end of the bull market, it's finished for altcoins, really finished. If Bitcoin is down 40% to 50%, alts are down 65 to 80%. Let's just say 70%, all right? That's really tough, right? That's really tough because you might have a $1 million portfolio and you're not paying attention and then Bitcoin cuts itself from the bull market because the stocks or some weird narrative. And you never know, friends. They might even say, oh, we're coming after crypto. You don't know what it is. It could be anything, okay? It'd be programming the charts. Just It's so spooky and weird, okay? Unicorn, fairy dust. Yeah. So when it happens, as these things happen, you just got to be prepared because I want you to know your portfolio, that 1 million, now it's down 300K, okay? Now you might say, oh, just hold it till it comes back, yeah, but we are now two years in from last bull market. Many people, two and a half years in, okay? Many people are still 90% down from their portfolio from two and a half years, okay? So it's serious business, right? It's literally been, think about it, it's been three years since you started having fun in crypto. You're still down 90% after three years. Now you're just praying everything goes up, okay? so. Remember, I am bullish. I am still bullish. I just know that when it comes to these traps, they fool everyone, they trick everyone. They make everybody think, hey, before we go down a lot, we've got to make everyone think this is a new paradigm, okay? And lucky for us, there's a lot of suckers in the stock market who are gonna think it's a new paradigm. But for us, it might be just pre-programmed for us to look like it. Just wanna remind you as well, if you believe none of this, friends, if you actually believe absolutely none of this, the extension of Bitcoin above its 200 week moving average, it's been getting lower and lower in each cycle, okay? This is the third cycle. If you just keep doing the mathematics, right, from it, I just it's crazy. If we are like in somewhere in March here, and you just do the same extension, you get like an 80 to $90,000 Bitcoin, all right? This is a two and a half X above this 200 week moving average, all right? So whether you believe it or not, it might not even matter. I'm just saying, watch out for this scenario. That's why I wanna be prepared for this. I hope it doesn't happen, but I'm just gonna be ready, okay? But like, you kinda know, friends, sneak is, like you know, when, when the Fed cut rates, it's been 13 years bull market, we haven't had a recession yet. We haven't had like a proper unemployment spike recession. Like we know that, all right? So we know it's eventually coming. And we might just find when Bitcoin's at 80, 90K, maybe the universe gives us a lot of warning signs. Okay, because it'll be nice if that bear market happens in the next six to 12 months and you're out and then the Fed has to come and rescue everything and print money, but the damage is so big that it takes a while to you know, range everybody out, but guess what, you get to get in. Okay, so that would be, it's, it's a, it is a dark prophecy for a reason, you know? Um, and why I like it is no one's talking about it. That's why I like it. Think about it, friends. Show me somebody who's thinking like this. We're thinking like actual chess players. Because people only usually have two modes, okay? There's Crapo who says, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. Okay, screw him, he's out, okay? 
Then there are the eternal bulls who say, we're going up, we're going up, going up. But they've worked for a long time. I was on that camp. But now I'm telling you, that's why, friends, I back myself now. Okay, I back myself with at least opening my mind to this because I now see everyone around me. I'm like, wait a minute. When I was the eternal bull, you guys called me stupid. You guys said there's no value here. You guys didn't even believe meme coins were a sector. But now, for some reason, because of the energy and the communities and Metcalf's law and, and all the stories in the charts, now you are all also eternal bulls. Peanut brain, friends. What's the peanut brain thinking? The peanut brain is thinking that means there's a lot of weak hands, man. That means there's a lot of weak hands. That means there's a lot of people. They don't have $5,000 in Bitcoin, okay? They've got 900000 yeah? So when they're up at 2x, they're looking at it, but they're dreaming of much bigger, but they know they'll exit because there's other people with like 90 million in there, right? And they're all looking for that 100K, okay? So these are the types of levels of game. This is the game you've got to be playing if you're going to make it. Now, I pray this doesn't happen, okay? Remember I said there's still scenarios where this doesn't actually occur, but at least we have been able to sniff this out from a long way ago. Because trust me, no one's going to be thinking about this. It's going to be way too euphoric buying all these trash meme coins, not knowing that everything I just said is even a possibility, okay? Like I said at the beginning of this video, you pray for the best, but you got to plan for the worst. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Don't forget to love your friends. Catch you very soon.